Hey everyone, this is Dr. Kazi and in this video, we are going to learn about what is pharmacodynamics and what is drug receptor interaction. Pharmacodynamic in very simple and easy word is defined as the action of the drug on the body or the living system. It can also be defined as the effect of the drug on biological system or the living system. Have a look at this diagram. When you take the medication or the drug in your body, two things happen. The drug will have some kind of action on the body as well as the body will also show some kind of action on the drug. So two terms, pharmacodynamics and the pharmacokinetics. When the drug acts on the body, it either activates or inactivates some kind of biochemical or the physiological process. This is studied under pharmacodynamics. And when your body shows some kind of action on the drug, this is studied under pharmacokinetics. Now, when the drug enters your body, after distribution and absorption, it will bind with the regulatory molecule, which are receptors. After binding with the regulatory molecule, it will either activates the biochemical or the physiological process or inhibits the physiological and the biochemical process in your body. This is what pharmacodynamic is, action of the drug on your body. Now, the drug will bind with the receptors to form a complex known as the drug receptor complex. This complex is very similar to the enzyme substrate complex. After forming the complex, they will perform some kind of biochemical or the physiological response inside your body. Now, the drug can act as the agonist as well as the antagonist. When the drug binds with the receptors and activates these receptors, initiate the biochemical or the physiological response, the drug is known as the agonist. The opposite of the agonist is antagonist. The drug bind with the receptors and inactivates it. This is known as the antagonist. It decreases the activity of the receptor. In order to understand this concept more clearly, have a look at this diagram. Receptor, this blue color is the receptor and the green and the red color is the agonist and the antagonist. The green color agonist is very happy. It will bind with this blue color receptors and activate it, make it more energetic, initiate the biochemical or the physiological response. On the other hand, this red color is the antagonist. It is angry. It will bind with this receptors and block its action, decreases the activity of this receptor. This is the difference between the agonist and the antagonist. Now, what is drug receptor interaction? Before discussing that, we should know what is a receptor molecule. Receptor molecule is any biological molecule to which the drug can bind and it can activate or deactivate some kind of biochemical or the physiological process inside our body. The receptors are majorly found on the surface of cell membrane. Some receptors may be associated with the ion channel. That is why it is known as the ion channel link receptor. Some receptors are associated or linked with the G protein. These are the transmembrane receptors. Some have the intrinsic activity inside the body and some are linked with the enzyme. They perform their activity with the help of enzymes. So these are known as the enzyme link receptors. Major properties of the receptor molecule include its specificity because they are very specific in nature. Only certain type of receptors allow binding with a certain type of drug. For example, muscarinic receptors will only allow acetylcholine to bind with them. They are very specific for acetylcholine. Beta receptors which are present in our heart will only allow the epinephrine and the norepinephrine to bind with them. They will not allow any other type of substance to bind with them. The receptors are majorly named after the agonist which work best with them. For example, muscarinic receptors, histamine receptors are named after the substance histamine because the histamine binds 
with the receptor and work best with the receptor that is why this receptor is named after histamine now the receptor is present in two states either the active state or the inactive state inactive state is represented with a capital letter R and the active state is represented with a capital letter R with a star sign on it majorly inactive state is favored now when the agonist or the drug bind with the receptor and it activates the biochemical or the physiological process active state of the receptors is favored on the other hand when the antagonist bind with the receptor it deactivates the receptor so the inactive state of the receptor is favored in this case the partial agonist is just like the agonist they will bind with the receptors activates the receptor but there is a difference active state of the receptor is greater than the antagonist but the active state of the receptor is less than the agonist in case of partial agonist because these are partial not completely agonist in nature so the active state of the receptor is less than the agonist now let's talk about the four major types of receptor families remember receptors are the biological molecule to which the drug can bind and activates it some receptors are associated with the ion channel the drug bind with the receptors these are majorly present on the surface of cell membranes they will open or close the ion channel that is why it is known as the ion channel link receptor some have activity associated with the g protein these are the transmembrane receptors and the examples include the alpha and the beta adrenoceptors the examples of the ion channel link receptors are the cholinergic and the nicotinic receptors. Some other type of receptor perform their action with the help of the intrinsic activity. These are the insulin receptors. And some other type of receptors are present inside the cell. They are not present extracellular or on the cell membrane. They are present intracellularly. These are the steroid receptor. Remember, the ion channel link receptor, transmembrane and the intrinsic receptors, these are hydrophilic. These are present on the surface of the cell membrane. But the hydrophobic receptors, which are steroid in nature, are present inside the cell. This is all about the pharmacodynamics and the drug receptor interaction. Please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.